Okay, here I am taking it apart. Um, so I told you last time that I thought this this hole here didn't seem like it was should be there, but it actually should be there. It uh, holds in this uh, cam mechanism. So there's a uh, set screw here and a set screw in through here. And then that uh, holds this uh, bushing in, which holds the whole holds the whole cam mechanism in. So this uh, this piece here has a bushing here, a bearing. Oh, yeah, just a, just a bushing. Um, so this has all of the cam mechanisms on it. Now the reason I took that out of there, because I need to be able to come in here and I need to push on push on each one individually. So I thought, uh, uh, first thing I'll do is decode the sequence. Like, like this is a half a, half a dB, a quarter dB, eighth of a dB, sixteenth of a dB, or so, I don't know. One, uh, I guess it's one dB, five dB. Uh, it's, it's zero through 12, so I'm not sure how these are gonna, how these are gonna lay out. Um, but that'll give me access to each one of the little switches. Um, also, from the top, I can take out these blocks and I can take the whole switch assembly out, which I'll probably have to do anyway. So anyway, uh, first thing to do is I'm going to decode it, figure out what each, uh, what each button does. See, that button doesn't feel good. I hear both, I hear both switches click. And this one? I hear both. I hear both. I hear both, but that one feels like I have to push it farther. So it might just be the springs have been uh, worn out and they're just not pressing any longer. So it might work just fine like this and I just need to bend these uh, springs and make it work again. The other thing that I was a little worried about was maybe this got out of timing, um, but I don't think that's possible. It was in there really, really tight. So I think it's, I think it's fine, but they may have worn out, so they're not pressing on the fingers good anymore. So yeah, let me, uh, let me decode this and see what, see what I see. Okay, um, so when I press on the far one, it's 0 0.714, uh, 0 0.71, that might be a 3 dB. Uh, this one is 0 0.8. I'm not sure what 0 0.8 is. There's a 0 0.94, 0 0.794, that's 2 dB. So maybe this one's 3 dB, this one's 2 dB. And then this one, when I press it, I get point, I get, uh, it wanders all over the place. This one is not repeatable. And then if I go down to the very bottom one, it's 0.5. So, uh, so 0.5 works great. The 0.8 works great. And the 0.713 works great. But this third one is just wonky. It's not right at all. It, it, I'm holding it down and it's drifting around. So there's something really seriously wrong with that one. I don't know if one of the resistors got burned up. Maybe somebody over voltaged it or over currented it or something, or one of the switches is going bad. I don't know, but that third one is just completely wrong. Okay, I think I found the culprit. Uh, I think everything is okay except for a ground. So if I measure uh, so th this is a pi network. There's, there's a resistor, resistor, resistor. So these two, uh, are the go, goes in is, is here. And then it goes to that middle resistor, but then these two resistors go to ground and they cause the, uh, voltage division. So if I measure, uh, the case, uh, case to case is measuring, uh, 0.1 ohms. What are my probes to probes? Probes to probes are about 0.07 ohms. So, so yeah, so anyway. So, so, so th this is a ground. And then there's a little standoff here on this aluminum piece here that these resistors solder to. So they rely on this aluminum piece being ground also. And if I, if I measure that, it's 0.1 ohms. And I measure this one, it's... Uh, 0.1 ohms, and I measure this one, it's 0.1 ohms, and I measure this one, it's, uh, wait a minute, that one's okay now. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, this is the funny one. This is the funny one. So right now it's point, 
0.5, 0 0.71 ohm. Yeah, depending on if I push on it or not. This one is really wonky. So this, this little piece here is not getting its ground. So I'm assuming it gets its ground being screwed in from the bottom of this piece contacting this, um, this uh, casting, but it's measuring 0.3 ohms. It's wandering all over the place. It, it goes between 0.1 and 0.5 ohms, depending on, depending on things. So there's definitely something wrong, something wrong. Now, I guess I could just put a shim across here and just short it out and probably be done with it. Uh, when I put the case on, I'll just have it, I'll just have it make contact. Otherwise, I have to open the whole thing up. I don't think I want to do that. So maybe the best thing to do is just put a piece of copper foil, a shim right there, and uh, call it good. Because it's a mechanical contact to begin with, so I'm just adding mechanical contact. So let's see how these measure. 0.15. Mm, that one's kind of funny too. Maybe they all make contact through this upper, upper lid. Maybe my upper lid is is dirty. <laughs> Maybe if I just polish this, it'll all start to work. Yeah, there's not good reason to. Well, they're all they're all a little proud. So maybe that's it. Maybe I just clean this piece. I could try that. Let's try that. Simplest. Okay, I've got some of this uh, Scotch Brite, the uh, maroon stuff. Uh, the maroon stuff is the best. Let's see if I can. I can polish this. That looks pretty good. So there is some oxidation. I'm taking that off. And that is nice and pretty now. I gotta get my fingerprints off of there though. Okay. All right. That looks good. So in here, I want to clean the tops of these. They look dirty too. Not dirty, oxidized. Let me blow that out with the air gun and uh, I'll button it back up and see if it works better. Okay, well that didn't work. Uh, so I decided to disassemble it. So I'm taking out these little pieces now. Now when I lifted this one out, a little copper shim came out. There was a copper shim between uh, between this piece and the case. So obviously they were worried about grounding and they put that little copper shim in there. So I'm assuming that the copper shim on this one is not working. And I guess what we need to do is maybe make good electrical contact between here and here. So I'm going to take this all apart if I can. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another copper shim. Don't want to lose those. Where are my tweezers? There. Ooh, boy, they fly over the place. So I'm going to put that in the box here. Put this in the box. Make sure I save these. All right. So there should be some other ones somewhere. 
And then this last one I need to I need to just desolder it from the uh, BNC and it's not as easy as this side. This side there's a lot of room to do that. And this side there is not. Um, so I think Uh, the other little shim is in there. So I got three shims. But this one, this one, I've got to reach in there and desolder somehow. And then I think I'm going to have to desolder that resistor first. This is a pain. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there's too much, too much, too much heat mass. Well, this one is, this one is functioning, so maybe I shouldn't even take it apart any farther. I think I found out the error. So, let me reach in here and grab that other, grab that other shim. Uh, there it is. Check that out. All right. So I think I'm just not making good contact. I will test it while it's flapping around in the breeze here and uh, ground all of these and see if uh, see if it works. Well, I knew I had to take it out, otherwise it's just baking to die again. So I took out the whole assembly so you can see that each uh, each one's a little pie thing, and there's two two micro switches on each one, and then two little things to to push. Those are the little those are the little switches in there, and then inside here, oops, you can't see that. Let's see here. So inside here, there are these little pieces of uh, bakelite or something like that. Uh, when you push when you push on this side, this whole bar moves in and out. That bar slides in a groove here to keep it straight, and then it pushes on both of these at the same time. So it'll be fun to put it all back together again, but I'm pretty sure this assembly probably works all by itself. Um, it's a matter of getting the, uh, getting the, uh, walls polished up so they make contact. They look pretty bad. All right. I figured out what it is. Uh, I don't know if it was the grounding and that could have been partially it, but it's this assembly here. It's these two switches. Both switches have failed. Um, they're kind of weird. They're okay in the normally open position, but in the pressed position, the closed position, they're both funny. One of them works like Okay, if you like press it really lightly, but then you continue to press it, it, it kind of goes wonky. And the other one's just kind of wonky to begin with. So I need to find some replacement switches, and I think I can, uh, I think I can get this thing up and running again.